Hey Brian, how do you see this uh, Midwest Rural Assembly fitting within the national discussion about what to do in rural communities? Well, I think it fits in supremely well. The, um, the National Rural Assembly has been about how to provide a voice for uh, rural populations, rural interests, um, and without fear that um, they're going to uh, run into difficulties with other interests, they can talk openly about challenges and opportunities and, and encourage collaboration. So we've been thinking about that on a national level, but really the way those conversations will happen um, is likely to be much more effective at the regional level. So the idea of having this conversation around states in the Midwest is directly in line with the sort of things we've been talking about. And um, my experience over the last couple of days has been that the conversation has been, um, again, open, it's been rewarding, uh, networks have been reinforced, uh, new contacts have been made. It's precisely the sort of thing that the assembly was set up to do. And we've all learned stuff, which is, um, which is really, uh, really, really exciting. Well, what are some of the things that you've learned uh, over the last couple of days? Um, well, it, it shouldn't be a surprise, because I've been working in this area for a long time, but uh, the number of organizations, the number of individuals with their own perspectives, their own sort of way of looking at things, are all committed to, to, to rural in, in some way or another. And if you can only get everybody to um, uh, find a way of supporting each other, um, then we could really make a difference in the way that the public at large perceives rural and its contribution to uh, national prosperity, natural culture, and all the rest of it. So uh, we have enormous talent, enormous commitment, and enormous resources in the room. And it's so wonderful to see them all here engaging with each other and thinking about uh, how they can move their agenda forward. So for me, this, is, this has been a, a remarkably good, um, good experience. Where do, we, where do we go from here? What are the, the next steps? Well, my sense is that uh, we're in a, in, a rare, we're in a rare moment in time, if that doesn't sound too pompous. Um, we have a great opportunity with an administration which seems to actually believe that we can do something in rural, that it's important, uh, that rural is, is agriculture, but more than agriculture, and that we can, uh, we can do something which will the quality of life, quality of living for rural people really means something. So there are the resources, the, the uh, administration and, and to some degree Congress's commitment to doing something around rural. We've got more money coming into the system than we've had for a long, long time. My only sense is that this is likely to be a very short window of opportunity. Uh, I don't know whether we're talking about weeks or months or years, but it doesn't seem to me that this is something that's going to last forever. So um, I think it's really incumbent upon us, and using the Assembly as an example of this, we have to figure out how we can take a best advantage of this moment, um, not get ourselves embroiled in fighting over, over the crumbs, uh, taking this opportunity to settle old scores or or just get ourselves diverted from the main mission. If we could figure out a way of how we can come together um, and really push the rural agenda in all its different facets, then we'll be able, we'll do well. If we allow ourselves to tear each other apart, which we've done so many times in the past, then this moment may never come back for us and we'll be just assigned to, um, well, our, our urban cousins telling us what uh, is the future for rural rather than us determining our own destiny. Great. Thanks very much. Is that?